Okay, the next thing, uh, compression fittings. Um, one of the biggest uh, problems people have with um, water cooling is the fact that uh, you chance leaking. If you have a leak, well, um, kiss your computer goodbye. So, <clears throat> one of the ways to prevent them is to buy compression fittings. Compression fittings are extremely useful for, well, saving yourself a lot of heartache, maybe later down the line. These are Bits Power. And they have, they're basically like a rotary. It's a, uh, has a, uh, and where you put the hose in. In fact, I'll grab a piece of hose. I prefer using wider hoses. This is half inch by th uh, with a three fourths inner diameter. It's some of the biggest stuff you can find. It's Tigon tubing. Tigon tubing is some of the best. Unfortunately, it's expensive because it's kind of only produced by well one company effectively, so they kind of have a strangle on the market. So this can run you as much as three dollars a foot. So this is three dollars almost. Ouch. Fortunately, if you're smart, you don't really need all that much. Um, object is not to make it kink. So you don't want to make it, let it do anything like this. You want to do smooth bends if possible. No creases. If you have a crease such as that, bad. So you take this, sit there, I don't scratch anything, and uh, you take the fat side of this and you put it through the loop like this. Then you push this through here, give it some force, push it on, and then you tighten it down like so. You go all the way down until it's dead tight, and you can literally just pull the heck out of it. And it's not coming out. I mean, oh, there we go. And that was without it even being fully screwed on. The power of this little compression is important for securing the safety of your computer. So what I'm going to do is take this, screw it tight, make sure you don't cross thread, you don't want it to leak. One important thing to do with these boards is to make sure that uh, before you attach it that you check it for leaks. Now EK says that they test each and every one by hand to make sure that they don't leak and yada yada. You know, I don't really want to uh, leave it up to them. So I always test it beforehand. Test it with distilled water. Don't use tap water as a test because it will leave nasty residues and other little critters, <laughs> bacteria, um, you know, fungus, different stuff like that, whatever else is in the water. And when it's in a contained loop, it can cause problems. So now that they're on, we're not going to attach any of the actual hose to them. So let's screw them tight. This is a tight squeeze between here and here. Heads up. It's barely, and I mean just barely going to fit through that. So just a heads up. So we're going to open the other one. Take them out. Once again, unscrew them so that way you can get them good and tight so that way you're not trying to fight the turn. Put it over here. Now this is a plexiglass so you don't want to overdo it. If you overdo it, crack the plexiglass. There it goes, $140-$160. For so tighten it down. Get it tight. Tighten these down. Once again, it's a tight fit. A half inch by three fourths diameter. Gives you a thicker tube, better turns generally, at least as far as flexing goes. If you use thinner tube, it will already have pinched on you quite fast. That way you can run it from, you know, if you have your intake here, your outtake here, outtake goes across here to here. And out to the rest of your your loop, which will be the next step.
So with that, we'll go to the next.